Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. It is a honor and a privilege for me today to open this event, during which we will present the results of the collaboration between Switzerland and other donors, the World Bank and the International Labour Organization. This survey of policy responses to the economic crisis has been carried out in a large number of countries. It is probably the first of its kind. The labour market database will represent an important global public resource that will be of key importance to client countries. Switzerland is pleased to contribute to the strengthening of policymaking capacities of its partner countries so they can adapt their policies in relation to labour market fluctuations and develop specific risk mitigation tools. In my opinion, this represents an ideal opportunity to demonstrate Switzerland's attachment and support to the World Bank and the ILO, two organizations which have shown that when they work together, they can generate important economies of scale. Both organizations have widely recognized authority in key areas when it comes to analyzing the labor market and promoting economic and social development. <laughs> But let me, know, let, let me now get back to the purpose of this collaboration. The economic crisis has highlighted a number of disturbances in the labour market, including, firstly, the duality of the labour market. Indeed, the, sh the share of informality in the labour market has significantly increased during the crisis. Secondly, a shortage of skilled labour and formal jobs in low-income countries, as well as poor market access and a lack of infrastructure. Thirdly, unemployment was high on a global level, although it has been declining since 2002. There were, however, certain exceptions to this, including Switzerland, Australia, Austria, Denmark and the Netherlands, where unemployment was low before the financial crisis. And fourth, low levels of social protection. For example, 75% of the unemployed did not have access to unemployment benefits before the financial crisis. This joint synthesis report is therefore coming at just the right time. I do not wish to reiterate all the main findings, but focus on one as it is at the heart of the Swiss system. Consulta consultations with our social partners are a standard feature during the process of public policy elaboration. There was no formal national tripartite, tripartite social pact in response to the economic crisis in Switzerland. However, trade unions and employer organizations were incorporated in the usual consultant pro consultation procedures of the relevant ministries through existing networks and informal contacts. In addition, Measures aimed at subsidizing reduced working hours in exchange for relative employment stability were negotiated at sector and industry level. As a Swiss example shows, social dialogue can lead to a speedier adjustment to crisis with more efficient and effective outcomes. It is the government's role to facilitate dialogue by ensuring freedom of association, providing social partners with data and acting as a convener. Therefore, I would like to insist on the importance of social dialogue and on context-specific country 
and sector solutions. There is no one size fits all. Finally, Switzerland is set to become an even more legitimate partner in terms of making its experience and expertise available to assist government with measures to overcome the unemployment crisis, since it is intending to ratify the ILO Employment Policy Convention. I am counting on interinstitutional cooperation between the ILO and the World Bank in order to reach improved and more effective country-level labour market policies. We are confident that the forthcoming World Development Report 2013 on jobs will provide new insights in this regard. In conclusion, this jointly produced survey that you have in your hands is a new working tool that is full of important information. Switzerland and other donors have made a considerable investment to develop and produce it. Make good use of it, knowing that you can re rely on two international institutions who over the years have more than proved their focus and commitment in promoting economic and social development. Thank you very much.